So uh, yeah, like you said, this is my uh, second time doing stand-up comedy ever. Uh, I did it one time about two years ago. It's a place called the uh, Funky Buddha Lounge. And uh, it kind of sucked because um, apparently if you don't go to a comedy club and do an open mic, nobody else is doing stand-up comedy. They're all doing guitar crap and deaf poetry and it's just weird. And I'm the only asshole there actually trying to perform stand-up comedy. Kind of like now. <laughs> you know, I go in there and I, you know, I took it as a challenge. I'm like, yeah, no, I can do this. I'm like, I want to make these people laugh. They're not here to see somebody make them laugh. They're here to do whatever the fuck it is that they're doing here. And I sit down and I start going over my bit, you know, being real quiet. And uh, this kid walks up to me. And uh, you know, he was a really nice kid, but um, there was something off about this kid. He had like ADD or something. He was practicing playing his guitar and singing his song. He was just going like this. Like walking around doing this the whole time. Nobody said shit to the guy, so I assumed he was good. But he walks up to me and he says, uh, he's like, hey man, what are you here to do? And I'm like, um, I'm here to do stand-up comedy. And he's like, oh, that's great. We need more comics. I'm like, fuck, that means okay. And he says, uh, he goes, why don't you tell me one of your jokes? I'm like, um, I don't know, man. I really don't have too many good jokes. I just kind of try to talk and be funny. But, uh, you know, that's how that goes. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> really fucking right. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, not at all. It just got really hot in here for no reason. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he, he comes up to me. And yeah, he was really, really nice. He's just like, what are you here for? I'm like, I'm doing that kind of Tell me a joke. I'm like, all right, uh, I got this one I think is pretty funny because it was around the time when Anna Nicole Smith died. And uh, I was like, and I told him, I set it up a little bit for him. I'm like, yeah, you know, I don't understand why people freaked out so much about when Anna Nicole Smith died. You know, everybody's making fun of her when she was fat and ugly. But then when she died, it was like, oh, that's such a tragedy. And it was. I mean, it was a terrible thing that happened to her. But just to take it like a personal thing was kind of weird to me. So I tell him all this, and I'm like, yeah, I just don't understand how you could swallow a bottle of trim spot and chase it with a bottle of vodka and become Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> and you know, I'm glad you guys laughed at it because I said it over there and they almost threw fucking bricks at me. <laughs> but uh, you know, I say this to this kid and he looks dead at me like I just just took shit and just wiped it off his face. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I, I think Anna Nicole Smith is a beautiful person. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know, it's a sick joke. I was just trying to be funny. He's like, oh, good luck with that. And I'm like, you know, you little half a fucking retard, man. Who are you talking to? I'm like, you know, if you don't like it, don't laugh, but you don't gotta be a dick about it. But you know, I go inside, I'm trying to I'm trying to just not be too nervous. And I go inside and uh this this guy comes up on the stage and he's performing, he's singing. And he comes up on the stage, and he's like a Abercrombie wannabe or something like that. He's got long hair like me. You know, he's kind of good-looking dude, to be honest. No, no, no. no. Good-looking dude. But uh, when he goes up there, and I swear to God, his name's Xavier Hawk, by the way, just in case that helps. When he goes up there, he grabs that mic, and he's like this. Okay, this next song is about the FPL you know, camp we're building out the Everglades. It's gonna make a lot of people sick. <laughs> I'm looking at him, I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> Everybody else in the place though, man, they're just like, yeah, yeah. he's gonna put us on some shit. I'm like, all right. So he goes to do his uh, song, and he goes over to a stereo that he brought, and he presses play on the stereo. And I couldn't even believe what the hell came out of the stereo. Apparently, this guy recorded himself at his house playing a fucking didgeridoo. <laughs> now, in case nobody knows what a didgeridoo is, that's that Australian instrument, you know, it looks like a big long stick with some holes, it's, you know, whoa, 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 yeah. Apparently he knows how to play this. And, oh, that fucking light, man. <laughs> but, um, you know, he knows how to play this thing, and uh, he goes up there, and I think he's gonna sing to this didgeridoo playing. But he doesn't. I'm waiting for words that never come. And he just walks up there, and this didgeridoo's playing, and he just starts going. <laughs> the whole time, this is his song. He beatboxes. And this is about the SPNL plan that's gonna make everybody sick. 
And I wish I could stay up here longer, but he flashed the light, so I'm just gonna go. Thanks. <laughs>